I understand why he'd be so pissed off he thinks I robbed him of his job, but I did not. He'd still be working there if he didn't quit. He didn't get laid off. He didn't get fired. I didn't get him taken off the forklift. Everyone got him taken off the forklift. Fuck! So now you see my good side and my bad This motherfucking Gemini is no hood rat It's all about me, social respect and giving No neglect, have no effect, like intellect I'll smart you like an insect cause I'm Gemini King Ooh. You guys are back with Gemini 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 and today, this is a call to arms. If you're seeing this video and you have never seen one of my videos before, you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe now. Hit that bell button because shit's gonna go down pretty soon. There's a shit storm in the making, alright? And it starts with me and Canadian Komodi Rider. This guy, we're gonna do a couple videos about this. There's gonna be my response video. There's gonna be a couple that I have planned. Alright guys? But this is serious. I need to call to arms all the Gemini crew. You guys need to see this video. You guys need to be here and support me through this because together we are stronger. Now you can start by doing me one big favor. Number one job for you guys to do is to go to his newest video. It may not be his newest video now, but it is, it is while I'm recording this. I'll put the link to the video in the description. It's called A Day of Pieces of Shit or something like that. You go to his video and you dislike it. You hit that dislike button. If you have a couple accounts, dislike it on all the accounts. I don't give a fuck. I tried to be nice, all right? I tried to be nice, I tried to be reasonable, he thinks I'm some sort of rat or something, he called me a goof and all this shit, that's just crossing the line, and know what else, he won't even talk to me, I tried to reach out and I tried to talk to him, he's got me like blocked from his comments or something, I, I can see my own comments in there, um, actually, you know what, I could show you guys right now my comments that are in there and he won't answer them and I've had a couple friends go to the video and they can't even see my comments so like he has a moderator or he's doing it himself just getting on that shit he's not deleting them but he's blocking them maybe anyways I'll show you these fucking comments guys Here's the channel, <clears throat> Canadian Komodi Rider, and here's the video. I'm in the fucking thumbnail. Yeah, I'm in the fucking thumbnail. It's called the Day of Pieces of Shit. Then I see of the. He doesn't really make sense. Then I see one of the rats. P.O.S. P.O.S. from my old job. P.O.S. Rats, pers whatever he means, anyways. Now, don't even worry. You guys will see this video. I will show you some of this video on a different video that I do. And if you guys want to come check it out and hit it up with a dislike, see? 13 dislikes, only 4 likes. That is the doing of. Gemini King, right here. Obviously, I disliked it, but I have influences. And 13 dislikes is nothing compared to what it's going to get. This is a call to arms, guys. Anyways, I'm going to show you here my comments on this one. So, first of all, I said, What the fuck, dude? Man, I tried to be nice, okay? I always fucking defended you at work when nobody would, and that is true. And of course you believe everything you hear, right? Now I realize why you're pissed. Because you got taken off the forklift, right? That had nothing to do with me. It was Ragu and that fucking skinny fuck Dylan mainly. David had a few words. And a few others did. 
But I didn't do shit. Parm wanted to lay you off, and I tried to convince him not to, and just take you off the forklift for a week or something, if he had to. But I wanted you to stick around, man. It's true, I did. I considered you a friend. I wouldn't fucking do that, Corey. I agreed with Parm. You go a little fast sometimes, but I said you're a good driver, so you can get away with it. Um... But he didn't agree with me, of course, because everybody wanted him off the forklift. And I don't think it was because you're driving. It was clearly a personal problem. Because nobody liked you, and it's true. Guess what I did? I even respected you. Ha! I hope you reply to me, because I don't know why you can't talk to me like a normal person instead of accusing me for shit I didn't do and flying off the handle like that. Dude, you know I wouldn't do that. What the fuck? Please don't make this a bigger problem than it has to be. I wish you would just come back to work. I'd personally make sure you're on the forklift. Like, I don't give a fuck. If that's what you want. I feel I feel shit that happened to you, but it was out of my control, Corey. Do you understand? I did feel like shit about it. Like, I didn't want him to be fucking gone. And But this is the thing. He didn't even get fired or laid off or nothing. He just quit because he was a big crybaby and wanted... Wanted to be on the forklift. He would have been off the forklift for like a week, maybe. Like, and then, of course, found out from somebody else that you couldn't see my comments on here. So I was like, why did you hide my comment? Is it because you're just so driven by anger you can't see straight enough to see the truth right in front of your eyes? Or are you afraid your subscribers will see my reasonable comment defending myself and exposing the truth? Those are my comments right there. Um, and then... I had a couple other people that um, were on my side that did comment, but he just got rid of the comments like a little fucking whatever, man. Um, you know what? Well, I'm going to show you guys something quickly, too. That wasn't the only comment. Before he uploaded this video, he fucking... He, he saw me at fucking McDonald's that day and got all pissed off like he likes to do all the fucking time. And, uh, he didn't, this video didn't even exist yet. It wasn't uploaded. So I went to his newest video at that same day. And I'll show you if my comment's still here. Going up the mountain and a new fellow Komodi, what the fuck bikes. Which this one got seven dislikes. I disliked it because I was pissed off at him, but I don't know who else disliked it, but whatever. Um, yeah. See, here we go. This was before he uploaded the video about me and really ticked me off. This was just... See how it's like, Hey man, good video, like always. Your editing skill I've noticed in your last videos is getting really good, man. But that's not why I'm commenting. We need to talk, man. And we don't have to do it in the comment section. I'd rather out of respect do it in privacy. So please press on this link and you will be joined to a private chat. We can talk I want to know what happened the other day I thought you were joking for a minute I did I saw him like roll up on me and I waved at him and he fingered me and I was like ha huh, like fucking Corey and then fucking he pulled down his mask and he just started flipping out and I was like whoa I was shocked I had no idea why he was fucking pissed off um where are we happening the other day I thought you were joking for a minute then soon realized you were not obviously because you got all pissed off seriously I was pretty upset that you were so mad at me man and I want to know why so press here man so we can talk in private okay the ad me PS I'm still subscribed to you and I was I was still subscribed to him at this point I'm watching and supporting your channel I want to say you're doing a great job like I thought he was doing a pretty good job getting better at his editing kind of decent videos I'm not much of a bike guy but he was a friend of mine so you know support him and his intro was cool I really like that but that shit is all over now obviously as you guys can see just so you guys can see one more fucking time Canadian Komodi Rider this is his channel alright I'll put it in the description so you guys can come here and spam the dislikes like ma fuckers Gemini crew alright he doesn't He's just such an angry individual that flies off the handle and is an unreasonable person. You can't reason with this guy, no matter what. Here's one thing and believes it. It's fucking ridiculous. Then when he uploaded this video, though, that was, that was it for me. I was done supporting him. I unsubscribed. I told some people about the video. They spammed it with dislikes. It already had a few dislikes before I did that, but uh, I, got, I got him a few dislikes. A couple people at work were on their phone at lunchtime. They they hit the dislike button. So, you know, good support all around. As you guys know, by watching my channel, if you've been here long enough, you know that I'm a very 
liked person, I'm a very peaceful person, I'm easy to get along with. What the fuck? Oh yeah, great. A team of highly trained monkeys has been dispatched to deal with this situation. This happened the other day, too. Just bring me to where I want to go. I'm going to my channel now. So you guys, anyone new here, Gemini King Topic up in the house. My channel trailer up there, my rewind. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. And be a part of the Gemini crew because war is coming. I'm telling you, war is coming. So, there you have it, guys. Shit's going down right now, and uh, I need your guys' support big time. He may have more fans than me, but that doesn't matter because I have a good brand name. I have good videos, and many of them. I've been doing this for so long, and I know a lot more about doing this than he does. So, what do you say, guys? You're going to hit that subscribe button? Hit that bell? Because I'm going to be coming at you with videos. Good ass videos. Stay tuned. I'm not happy about this, guys. Clearly, I'm not happy about this. You usually see my videos and I'm pretty fucking doing good. You know, life ain't fair. Life ain't happy all the time. But you know what, when you make YouTube videos, no one wants to see it be negative all the time. They want to see someone that's happy and cheerful and funny. You know what I'm saying? But this shit is not funny and I'm pissed off. And this ain't where it ends. This is only the beginning. It's only the beginning. This is gonna get worse before it gets better. It may start here on YouTube and could end on the street. We don't know. We don't know. And I am not the type of person to ever start a fight. I don't start fights. Just because I used to train and work out a lot. I'm a fit person. Doesn't mean that I do it to start fights. I do it to defend myself and my family and my friends. That's why I do it. So I no more can taste And I don't ever wish to have to do that. It comes to a point where you just question Is shit gonna be okay when I go downtown to grab groceries? Is shit gonna be okay when I go to grab a six pack of beer? What's gonna happen when I leave for 15 minutes? Am I gonna run into this guy? Is he gonna stop and have a problem with me? Because that's what he does. He, he can't let shit go. I understand why he'd be so pissed off he thinks I robbed him of his job, but I did not. He'd still be working there if he didn't quit. He didn't get laid off. He didn't get fired. I didn't get him taken off the forklift. Everyone got him taken off the forklift. Fuck! It's frustrating. I don't know what else to say in this one, guys. This is a call to arms to all of you. I'm gonna end it pretty soon here, but I just want to say to you, hit the subscribe button and the bell button. I know I keep saying that, but that's important. You gotta do that. And everyone that's here with me already subscribed, make sure that bell button's pressed. You gotta do that. If you're supporting someone, you gotta do that. I make sure my bell is hit on every channel I support because you need to know when shit comes out. And this is a little bit different than the random gameplay. My music's very important, but you know, a vlog or something that's not just like that. This is something new. This is... Until next time, guys. Stay cool. Stay good. And I'll see you guys next time. On... Whatever it may be.